Pottstown continues with their man-to-man. -man. Quick hands by Sadiq. Oh! What a block! Julius Marshall! That got the place rocking. <laughs> wow, Sadiq wow. winding up. And, and Julius oh. said, not now. <laughs> that is a PCTV instant classic right there. <laughs> wow. <laughs> You're not dunking on me. I'm not being posterized. All right, welcome to our 2024-2025 Pioneer Athletic Conference Boys Basketball Media Day and Preview Show here on the PCTV Network. I'm Dave Caldwell along with Gus Telespa behind the camera, and uh, welcome. Uh, we are going to be interviewing all the coaches and some notable players they have along with them today, and uh, look forward to uh, visiting with them as the show goes on, before we get started, I'd like to give a quick shout out and thank you to Ben Condella, the head coach at ONJ Roberts uh, Wildcats, uh, hosting us here in Bucktown today. So this is the first time we're doing it here at the basketball end of things. And uh, we'll get started right away here with the Liberty Division. Uh, Earl Wise, uh, head coach at Pope John Paul, uh, a.k.a. PJP. Uh, this is my second year. I've been coaching here and in Berks County for about nine years. Uh, excited for the upcoming season. All right, Coach, great to have you with us. And uh, Coach, let's just start off a little bit. Uh, talk, tell us a little bit about your team this year. What uh, What are your thoughts on your team? Uh, what What do you yeah. What do you see coming up here for the uh, Panthers? Well, you know, being super optimistic, uh, I think we're we're in a position where we're returning a lot of guys that have played a lot, uh, which is good. You know, re returning uh, about six or seven players who are part of our district championship last year. That's always a good thing, that experience. We also have some young guys that worked extremely hard in the offseason. You know, so I'm really excited. I'm really excited about the pace and style of play we're going to play and, and kind of building on to year one. Yeah. Great, great. Now, I will say this, people who are viewing right now saying PJP Liberty Division, a lot of people don't know this, but you guys are in the Liberty Division this year. Yeah. It's going to be a little bit of adjustment playing, playing the bigger schools a couple yeah. times every time. Yeah, I, I, think, I think the adjustment will be, you know, uh, uh, one that we're ready for. Um, obviously, you're playing, you know, some powerhouses like Springford and powerhouses like Perk Valley. And, and then, you know, you can't, you can't forget about uh, the other school in that division. Norristown, you know, has a great, mm -hmm. uh, you know, kind of up and down transition game. It's going to be a dogfight. I think the one thing that we're ready for is, you know, we'll be prepared. You know, we had some really close games last year. You know, most people don't even recognize this, but we had about six losses that were under 10 points. So easily we yep. could have been six wins better now with the whole off season. Um, yeah, it, it's, it's going to be a fun year. It's going to be a real fun year. Very entertaining year. Uh, so if you can make it out to as many games as possible, come on out. Come on <laughs> All right, out. sounds great. Now, Coach, hey, one thing about yourself before you go. We always ask, like, a per question and stuff. And the question uh -oh. is, okay. is, is there someone that you in the coaching profession, college, pro, high school, Someone you really admire, a coach, coach, or somebody you really admire that, uh, yeah, or has been instrumental for you. Uh, I'd say really, it's really one name, um, Bob Hurley Senior. Okay, um, him and I have a relationship. Uh, we've had a relationship for the past ten years or so. Uh, when we need to rebound, I call him. When we need to do things better, I call him. And now that he's kind of semi-retired and running the facility up in North Jersey, uh, he's someone that's definitely had an influence on you know on me and. And I think you'll see that this year with our style of basketball. We're, we got a lot tougher this offseason. So, All yeah. right, great. Coach, thanks for sharing. Oh, thank you. Great pleasure. to see you, and good luck this season. No problem. We'll see you soon. All right. All right, thanks. Uh, Jake Robinson, forward, senior. All right, Jake, great to see you. Um, let's talk a little bit about yourself a little bit. Um, what, what are some things you did this year in the offseason to, to get you ready for uh, November basketball? Um, I think, like, as a team specifically, we conditioned a lot. Uh, so, like, getting up our conditioning, you know, we're going to run a lot this year. So one of the important things was getting up our conditioning. And I just think playing basketball a lot, just okay. really just stuff like that. And, and what, do you, what do you think might be some of your team strengths this year, your team? Um, definitely getting up and down the court. Okay. Um, I think we're also, like, a very physical group, you know. Like, we're not going to get pushed around easily. So I think those two things, like playing to our strengths, will definitely help us this year. All right, lot. very good. Do you have a favorite college pro team? 
Um, I would say the Nuggets are my favorite pro team. Okay. How yeah. about how about a college team? You have a college team? Um, I don't really watch college as much, but if I were to pick, it'd probably be Duke. Okay. And how about a favorite favorite basketball player? Um, I think my, my favorite basketball player is like Nikola Jokic. That's who I try to like emulate my game after. Okay, so, yeah. that's a very good one. Very yeah. good one. So, thanks for joining us and uh, good luck this season. Thank you. I appreciate All right. it. My name is Aiden Wise. I go to Pope John Paul II, and I'm point guard, and class of 2026. All right, very good. Good to have you with us. And uh, you know, thoughts on uh, your team this year? What do you think are your your team strengths? for the Golden Panthers? Uh, we got a lot of strengths. We worked on the off season a lot. We were getting to the gym, uh, getting lifting gym, getting bigger. So I feel like we'll have um, one of our strengths is running. We'll definitely be conditioned for the season, so. Okay, and you look like you've grown a little bit since I saw you last year. You look like, so obviously the, the head coach and your father is uh, feeding you pretty well, yeah, huh? He's feeding pretty well, All right, yeah. you got You got a favorite food, stuff you like to? Mm. Food you like to pound? Probably going to have to say chicken. Chicken? chicken. chicken. Okay, yeah. very good. Oh, very good. Um, how about um, your favorite uh, NBA college team? Uh, my favorite college team is Duke University. I love okay. the way they play. I love their new coach. He's doing All really right. good this year. Okay. Uh, yeah. Do you have a favorite pro team? Mm, probably whatever team LeBron is on. That's, that's my favorite pro <laughs> okay. team. Okay. All right. Team. He's obviously one of the all-time greats. And, and finally, uh, a, a player you would really admire is you have a favorite player, college pro, could be a high school player. I'd probably have to say LeBron James again. LeBron James? I, I always watched him growing up, and I just love the way he plays. So, yeah. Very good. All right. Well, thanks for joining us, Thank and you. good luck this season. Thank you. All right. We'll see you, see you on the court. I'm Jason Green. I'm a guard in the class of 2026. All right, very good. Jason, great to have you with us. Um, question, what, what, uh, what have you done individually to get you ready for this season? What are, what are some things you've, you've worked on and done? Yeah, I would just say a lot, of, a lot of hard work as a team. Also, this summer we've been in the weight room a lot. Okay. Playing a lot, open gyms, just been working hard, ready for the season. Okay, so you, you, you hit the weight room pretty pretty hard and yeah. do, do some individual skills developing your yeah, game? Yeah, a lot of, a lot of individual work. All right, and, and how about some, some team strengths? Yeah, I would say we're a very competitive group. I feel like okay. night in, night out, we're always going to give it our all, 100% on the floor, and we're a very fast team. We like getting up and down the court, pushing the ball, playing, and it'll definitely help us when we play to our strengths. Okay, and uh, how about a – Favorite play? You have a favorite player? High school, yeah, pro, yeah. college? I'd say uh, Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant? Yeah, I've, I've always just liked his game. He's a scoring yeah, machine. He's a very, very good player. Kind of <laughs> try to model after him a little bit. But. All right, very good. And uh, how about favorite college pro team? Uh, college team, I go with Penn State. Okay. I've always just been a fan of them since All I was right. younger. All right, nice. Yeah, nice. and then uh, pros, I would say Sixers. Sixers, yeah, good, been, good. A good Pennsylvania loyal yeah, guy. Way not, to go, man. Not doing good so far, but. <laughs> no. <laughs> so, well, hey, thanks for joining us. Thank you. Good I luck this it. season. Hi, Jeff Bush here, host of Financially Speaking here on PCTV for the past 11 years. I have some exciting news. We are now Wellspring Financial home of the Wellspring formula. We are here to serve all your financial needs. Yakalak Construction, serving the Tri-County area since 1946. Family owned, free estimates, all types of concrete work, sidewalks, foundations, steps, curbs, and more. Professional service and quality. Give them a call, 610-323-8134. Pat Lockard, coach of Methacton. This is my fifth year as head coach, 12th year as coaching. Coach, great to see you. Yeah, and uh, always fun to uh, talk a little basketball and talk about the Methacton Warriors. Um, give us a little thought on your team this year, uh, expectations, goals. What, 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 what's, what, what do you think about your squad this year? Yeah, I think we have a very similar uh, goals and mindset to the stuff that we want to do this year, similar to last year. Uh, stay competitive in our conference, um, make districts, and try to go to states from there. I think we have um, some good returning players and a couple new guys going to come up into the starting lineup, I think, uh, from JV and some people coming in new to the program. So I, our biggest thing here is trying to get everyone to gel together and build that chemistry going forward. Awesome, awesome. Um, do you, uh, you know, speaking of uh, goals and stuff, do you guys set goals or what? Would you, or do you, 
Are you willing to share your goals with us? Some some people yeah. are, some people aren't. We <laughs> sure. understand if you don't want to share. No, them. of course. Um, yeah, no, we, we have a goal setting um, kind of meeting every single year for okay. our team, and we talk about the big picture goals of like we want to be, you know, probably top. 10 in the district and, you know, use that to be able to make states. And um, our conference is going to be tough this year. So our goal is still to win the conference, but knowing it's going to be a challenge to get there. Um, and then we kind of work backwards to say, hey, what are the little goals that are going to allow us to, uh, you know, uh, make those big goals happen of, like, showing up to practice, ready to work every day, of getting your schoolwork done on time. So uh, I think if you recognize the day-to-day -day stuff, then the big stuff kind of takes care of itself. All right. And Coach, one more question. Is there somebody that uh, you really look up to in the coaching field uh, that you, you really admire? It might be a high school coach, it might be a college coach, a pro coach, somebody who uh, has really, um, you know, had a stamp on, on, uh, stamp on your heart with basketball. Uh, I mean, one of my most favorite coaches of all time has got to be Greg Popovich. Okay. Uh, just everything he's done. Uh, I think you can really tell a coach by what the players uh, say about him. Um, and I think all of his players will speak to him more than just a coach, just the character of the man that he is. Yeah. And I, I think that's what a lot about coaching is. You kind of sometimes get caught up in the sport of the game, which makes a lot of sense. But uh, when you can transcend the game and really kind of um, reach these guys at a deeper level, I, I think that really speaks to who you are as a coach. And I think he did that better than anybody else. Awesome. Coach, thanks so much. Likewise. Wish you good luck, and we'll, we'll see you on the court this year. Sounds great. Thanks. All right, man. Uh, I'm Sal Iamello. I'm a senior, and I'm a point guard. All right, Sal, great to see you again. And, um, you know, watching you guys last year and getting to this year to November now, what are, what are some things that you have done uh, yourself individually to, to get you ready for this, uh, this season coming up? Um, I mean, I've been in the gym a lot, working on my shot. That's definitely the – main factor I want to improve on this season is really getting my three-point shot and my free throws down. Definitely been getting in the gym, trying to get stronger. Okay. So I'm able to play at the physicality of our league. All right. Sure. And in, in your opinion, what do you think might be some of your team's strengths this year going in? Um, we got a lot of players that can put the ball in the basket at any, po at any point in the game. Um, we got a lot of ball handlers on the team. And I think that matchups are going to be really tough to guard us. We, nobody can really stop, I feel like, our whole team. Okay, very good. And how, Coach, or Coach, Sal, how about a favorite player? You have a favorite collegiate height or NBA player? It's got to be Allen Iverson. Allen yeah. Iverson, mm -hmm. all right. That's a mm -hmm. good one. And how about a favorite team, NBA, college? You have Sixers, one? Sixers, got to be Sixers. Sixers? Yep. How about a college team? Um, I'd say probably uh, Duke or Kentucky. Okay, all right, great. Hi, I'm Mason Connor, and I'm a junior guard. All right, Mason, great to have you with us. Um, what do you, what, what's your thoughts on your team this year? How do you think you're going to do, and what do you think are some, some strengths of your team? I think we're going to be pretty good this year. I think we've got a lot of guys that can get downhill, a lot of, a lot of people that can exploit mismatches. Okay, all so right. I think we're going to get out and run. Yeah. Now, did you, did you do any specific things in the off season to get you ready for this season, you know, whether it's shooting, whether it's – well, weight training, what, what are some things you did this year to get uh, yourself ready? I've been doing a lot of lifting, been doing a lot of shooting. Okay. A big part of my shot last year was not great, so I've been working on it a lot. All right. Season. All right, very good. And how about a favorite, favorite player in college or pro? Probably Paul George. Paul George? Yeah. Okay, very good. Newbie with the Sixers. Yeah. And uh, how about uh, favorite college or pro team or both? Do you have a favorite college or pro Basketball team? Favorite college team is probably North Carolina. Okay. Yeah. How about how about NBA? Sixers. Sixers. Yeah. All right. Very good. Well, hey, listen. Nice chatting with you. And good luck this season. Thank you. Uh, Wes Robinson, junior shooting guard. Wes, glad to have you with us. Um, tell me a little bit about your team. What you what do you feel are your team strength this year for the Thacton Warriors? Uh, our team strengths are definitely we have great chemistry. Uh, okay. A lot of our team has been playing with each other for a while. I mean, me and Mason have been playing since we were kids. And I think, you know, we're a good overall team. We can attack the lane, but, you know, we're also perimeter threats. Okay. All right. Do you have a favorite NBA college player you like? Uh, I have to go Anthony Edwards. Anthony Edwards. Ooh, that guy is, is amazing. How about uh, college or uh, pro team you like? Got to stick with the Sixers. Sixers? I'm going to throw one more at you. Do you have a hobby outside of basketball? Uh, I like fishing. Fishing, yeah? Yes, you fishing? What are you fishing for? 
Uh, just local, like bass, okay. science, stuff like that. All right, yeah. all right. Well, it's always nice to find out some different things about guys. Appreciate the time, and uh, good luck this season. Thank you. All right, man. At O'Donnell, Weiss, and Matei, our team approach makes all the difference. Business law is complex because it's easy to make costly mistakes. OWM is able to handle any area of law that a business or individual in our community needs. We are the ones who are uniquely talented and uniquely positioned to do that for your benefit. That's what drives me to come to work every day. OWM Law. Your life, your business, your law firm. At Superior Credit Union, we believe in growing stronger together. So we provide products and services to fit your financial needs and accommodate your busy lifestyle. With convenient services like home banking, e-deposits, account alerts, and a free coin counter for members, come see why Superior Credit Union is growing. Visit any one of our three locations in Collegeville, Royers Ford, and our brand new location in Pottstown. Superior Credit Union. Uh, Joe Dempsey, it's uh, my 36th year as a high school coach, 18th, maybe, yes, 18th as a head coach. Okay. So, yeah. now, now, what what year is this for you at Springford now? Uh, fourth, fourth year. Fourth, fourth year, year at Springford. Springford and, and um, yeah. Doing great work, and uh, coach, you know, every year brings on new challenges. So uh, what's, uh, what's your assessment of this group coming up, uh, getting ready to go here? Well, we're, we're encouraged. I think I'd like to think we have two of the best players in the league, and who are seniors. Um, you know, one a four-year starter, one a three-year starter. So, uh, I have two kids. I'm very fortunate to coach that have just bought into the program and have, you know, committed to spring forward. And when they've had other options, and um, just fortunate. Both of them are just great kids, great teammates. And I think when you start there, um, you know, I feel feel pretty good about our team already. And then. Uh, you know, the depth of our program will be challenged this year. You know, how, you know, we have, uh, despite the fact that it looked like we were going to have four starters coming back through a number of uh, circumstances, uh, you know, we're really only going to return two starters. So we're going to replace three people. And, um, and I think, um, you know, hopefully the guys will embrace that. Yeah. And, and the schedule is just that my first glance at it looks, looks uh, pretty tough again this yeah, year. Yeah. We, we, there's no reason not to challenge these kids. They deserve it. Um, they're up for it. They want to play the best teams. And, um, you know, we got, we got Reading coming in, Upper Dublin coming in. We go to Exeter. We have Constitution on the schedule. So, um, Parkland, a state, state championship, uh, Runner up, so um, yeah, the guys want to be challenged, and that's, um, that's that's the way we like to run. That's great, coach. Coach, a little bit about you now. How many, or is there a coach? Could be a high school, college, pro coach that's really had an impact on you, um, or a coach that you really admire that you uh, like to to simulate and, and do some things. Wow, you're putting me on the spot. I've had a lot of good coaches. Um, and you can name more than one coach. Okay, thanks. <laughs> uh, my JV basketball coach really taught me how to work hard, uh, Gene Gordon. And um, my obvious, my high school coach, obviously, Jack DeBaggio, who's passed away. My, my senior, we won District 1 in, uh, in baseball my senior year, and that, that guy, Mike Cretion, was influenced on him. But it wasn't until I got older and realized what, how dedicated those guys were and how much they cared about me and – and the conversations and the interest they took in me. So, um, you know, I think with every athletic experience, you take one or two things from each coach and you yep. say, hey, well, I do this differently. And and I've tried to emulate, you know, those three in particular. But uh, And guys I've coached with, you know. I've uh, had great mentors at, at LaSalle and uh, coached at Lower Marion for a while. And uh, just guys, you know, college, a lot of college guys have uh, become friendly with. So, um, you know, try to take something from each guy. That's great. Coach, thanks so much for joining right. us. Good Thank luck you. this season. Hi, I'm Tommy Kelly. Uh, I go to Spring Forward, Class 2025. All right, very good. Tom, great to see you. Um, tell me a little bit about uh, what you think the Rams team strengths are this year. You guys have had some great success since you've been there. What, what do you think your team is going to be good at this, this season coming up? Uh, I think that we're very competitive. Uh, open gyms, we're going to add each other. So. I think that'll be a strength for us. I think we'll be be fighting all season. Okay, very good. And uh, do you have a favorite uh, NBA college player? Uh, Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant, guy's a scoring machine. Uh, how about um, 
favorite NBA team, college team? Do you have one of each? Uh, Sixers and probably Villanova. Villanova? Yeah. And, and, and we were joking, but I'm serious. We all need a break from basketball. What, what's something or what's a hobby or something you enjoy doing to get away from the game? Um, uh, walking. Come on, you got to you, you got to be doing something else other than walking. You got you got you got to have some some hobby. Uh, fishing. Fishing. All right, you and Wes Robinson going fishing together. <laughs> all right, great. You guys will be battling out in the paint this year in the Liberty Division. Great to see you. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, of course. My name is Jacob Nolan. I'm a shooting guard and I'm a senior. Jacob, great to have you with us. Um, I know that you work extremely, extremely hard in the off season to get ready for this senior year, your last year at Springford. What are some specific things, routines that you do to get you ready? What, what, what is, tell us about some of the things that you do During the in the off, off season? season. Yes. So I usually wake up in the morning around eight. And I usually get about like 200 shots up in the morning. And then I usually lift after. Okay. And then I'll go home, eat, and then later in the day or night, um, I'll work out again with like either a trainer or my fr friends. All right. So you're yeah. doing double workouts. Yeah. Right? And then you're throwing in, right, all your summer league and AAU stuff and all that kind yeah. of stuff, right? So that, that's a lot. And that's, you know, shows, speaks volumes of why you're the player that you are. Um, tell us a little bit about your team this year. What do you think some, some team strengths are going to be? What do you Team strengths. Um, we, I think our chemistry is a big thing. Like we all are like off the court. We're all like great friends, and on the court especially, is just a good thing. Okay. Uh, how about a favorite uh, NBA college player? My favorite NBA player is probably um, Kobe. Okay. Yeah. And do you have a favorite NBA college team? Uh, favorite college team, probably. I like Marquette a lot. Okay, yeah. that's a, that's a different answer. That's yeah. a different answer. And finally, you know, we all need you, you spend a lot of time with basketball. We all need some time to get away from the game. Do you have a hobby or something you enjoy doing that's non basketball related? Yeah, uh, I I love fishing, and I also love golfing too. We got all these guys that fish here, man. I, I tell you what, maybe uh, maybe we need to. Uh, talk to the state commissioners here and raise the prices on them. We got all these fishermen <laughs> here, but uh, thanks for sharing and I uh, wish you good luck this season. Thank See you, you on the courts. For more than 50 years, Pottstown Oral and Maxillofacial Surgery has served its community with expert dental care, offering patients dental implants and a full menu of procedures for many types of dental problems, including bone grafting, wisdom teeth, impacted canines, facial trauma, jaw surgery, oral pathology, TMJ disorders, and sleep apnea. Get the smile you've always wanted. Contact Pottstown Oral and Maxillofacial Surgery today. Hi, Jeff Bush here, host of Financially Speaking here on PCTV for the past 11 years. I have some exciting news. We are now Wellspring Financial, home of the Wellspring formula. We are here to serve all your financial needs. Chris Podzabinski, uh, Norristown High School, second year in Norristown, 14th year co coach in varsity sports. Coach, great to see you. Good and see. Uh, we're talking Norristown basketball, and that's, that's always exciting, the great tradition they've had at Norristown. Uh, tell us a little bit, uh, give us a little preseason preview of, uh, tell us about your team. Well, yeah, I mean, a little different than last year. We graduated six seniors, um, most of the minutes. So I got one, one guy returning, Tyson, who has minutes from last year. The rest of them are young guys. So it's going to be kind of a big, um, a big how we gel, you know, okay. how, how quickly we, we, we grow up. We got a lot of sophomores. I think half my roster might be sophomores. Okay. We got a few freshmen that can, um, that, that can get some minutes and impact the game. So it's, it's exciting, and at the same time, there's a lot of unknowns. Right. Um, whereas last year, we were, we were a solid six, seven guys. Yes. This year, it's, it's, it's kind of wide open. There's about ten guys. Everybody's a little bit different. Um, so we're looking to see, you know, kind of what identity we forge. Okay. Um, you know, it's exciting, so, but at the same time, it's like there's, there's a lot of work to be done. There's no givens. Yeah. Um, but, you know, they're, they're ready to go. I think they're all, all the preseason stuff. Now, with, with a young team like that, do you, do you guys set some goals? Do you meet as a staff, players, what, what, downplay things? What, what, I do, mean, what do you um, do with that? 
Like last year, I thought the guys did a great job that, that left um, setting the foundation. Because okay. that was new. I came in in July. They didn't know me. I didn't know them. Right. Um, so it was a learning process there. But um, they, they set a good foundation for these guys. So spring, summer, I mean, I'll be honest, we took it on the chin a lot. Um, we showed up to events that we played in with different guys. Right. There might be 10 this time. It might be a different 10 that sure. time. You know, some holdovers. But we wouldn't really have anything incohesively where we're playing guys that are running, you know, trapping us and running different systems sure. and like, we, we were a little behind so we've taken our lumps the hope is that that's kind of hardened us a little bit and you know sure. the goal is to compete um you know I think the league's I don't know if it's wide open wide open but I think it's not like where you know there's a clear number one you know especially in our division we want to we don't try to beat some of the teams we lost to the top three last year twice each time so we want to try to pick a few of those off and kind of grow that way and get kind of moving um you know in that direction versus you know, staying stagnant from last year. Absolutely. And coach, was there a, do you have a, a coaching mentor, somebody that you really look up to? Maybe it's a high school coach, a, a college coach, a pro coach, somebody you've, uh, you really admire. It's been, uh, been a part of uh, your, your growth as a coach. Yeah. Um, I mean, the first one is, you know, my high school coach, Tom Kehoe over at Lansdale Catholic. Right. I mean, he was, he was awesome. If I, uh, if I would have played for him for four years, I think it would have made me a Heck of a lot better player. Um, demeanor, calm. I don't want to say I'm that calm, but he, uh, he was awesome. <laughs> and then, you know, once I started to coach, I've coached with a lot of great coaches. Um, Paul Romanchik's rubbed off of me. You know, I spent a year with Paul Carroll, too, at Malvern. Um, he's, to me, he's the best around. And, um, you know, we did a lot of similar stuff, but he always had a, you know, a different viewpoint of looking at it. So he, he helped me grow, you know, tremendously, I'd say, the last four or five years. Awesome. So it's been great. Coach, thanks so much. Thanks for Appreciate having me. Appreciate it and look forward to seeing your ball club this year. Yeah, can't wait. All right, good luck. All right, thank you. Wade Scott, senior forward. All right, Wade, glad to have you with us. Um, talk a little bit about your team. You're, you're one of the, the, the few guys back from last year. What, what do you think is going to be uh, some strengths of your team this year at Norristown? I'm confident for our team. Everybody, I feel like everybody's going to understand and learn their rule. So. Okay. All right. Um, do you have a favorite uh, NBA college player you uh, you like to watch? NBA player Anthony Edwards. Okay. All right. Very good. How about a favorite team NBA team? Nah. How about college? You got a college. favorite college? Baylor. Baylor. Okay. Baylor Bears. That's an unusual one. <laughs> and we've been asking this question to some guys. We all need a break from basketball. I know you put in a lot of time. You know, working on your game, all the things that involve with this weight training, conditioning. You know, all the stuff Coach has you involved with. Mm -hmm. What's something you enjoy doing to get away from the game? Do you have a hobby or something you enjoy doing? I like the paintball. Paintball? Yeah, I like the paintball. Nice. Very good. Very good. Well, thanks for sharing, and sure. thanks for joining us, and good luck this season. Tyson Tuggle, senior point guard. Tyson, glad to have you with us. Um, what do you think? Uh, or what do you think are your team strengths this year going into the season? I know you're going to have a lot of new guys, but mm -hmm. uh, what, what, what overall? What do you what do you think? What do you what do you see? Um, I think our strengths are that we're very aggressive on defense, and we can pick up full court and lock down trap teams that don't really have good handlers. And um, on offense, we can get out and run and big teams play with our piece. All right, great. Uh, how about? Uh, do you have a favorite player, high school, college, pro player you like? Uh, probably Allen Iverson. Allen Iverson. All right, very good. How about the favorite NBA team, college team? Um, NBA team, I like I like LeBron right now, so the Lakers. And college, I like North Carolina. Okay, all right, very good. And finally, I've been asking these guys, yeah, we all need to get a break from the game of basketball. What's, uh, you have a favorite hobby or something you do to get away from basketball? Yeah, I like bowling. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Great. Well, thanks for joining us Thank and good luck this season. You, Look forward to you. seeing you. Hi, I'm Joe and this is Chris and many of you know us and we'd like to welcome you to our new showroom here at 618 North Reading Avenue in Boyertown where we offer Kohler faucets, Moen faucets as well, vanities, tubs and many accessories. Here we have an operating High efficiency, Energy Star rated American Standard Furnace combined with a variable speed AC condenser. Uh, let us install one today to start saving you money throughout the heating and cooling season. Here at Patriot, we now offer kitchen and bath designs. So come visit us today at 618 North Reading Avenue or visit our website at www.patriotnp.com. 
So Dan Hoff, this is my third year as an assistant coach at Boyertown, uh, 15th year coaching overall at uh, the high school level. Coach Hoff, appreciate you coming up and uh, talking a little Bears basketball sure. with us. You know, coach is filling in for Travis Miller, who couldn't be with us, the head coach today. And uh, coach, what your, your your assessment of your team? What do you uh, what do you see for uh, Boyertown basketball at the varsity level this year? So the last three or four months, Coach Miller has talked about uh, strength in numbers, has been a motto that he's kind of lived by with okay. these guys. And I think that's really going to be what we're going to need to do in order to be successful and hopefully make the postseason is strength in numbers, next man up, get okay. some opportunities. Okay. So. Have you guys talked at all about goals, team goals, anything like that with the team or coaching staff or combined? Yeah, so there's, uh, there's no secret. Uh, Coach Miller wouldn't mind me sharing this. Boyertown has not won a district playoff game since 2007. Okay. So the goal is to bring that back and win a district postseason game. Uh, and I think making packs is, is pivotal for this program as well. That's great. And, and finally, Coach, you know, we all need a break from basketball. I know you spend a lot of time with a lot of basketball stuff, but – Give us, a, give us a hobby or something you enjoy I doing. I was hoping you were going to ask me the mentor one, Coach, because <laughs> I was going to say I was going to say you and Coach Reber. <laughs> well, that's really no, nice. No, I'm, I'm serious. I really appreciate that, so. and I'm sure Coach Reber does as well. That's really nice. Uh, but but what, what are, what is, what's something that you, uh, you enjoy doing to get away from basketball? Um, I don't know. I mean, you know, I, I am a, a big college football fan. My, my buddies and I like to go to one or two away games a year, go to a good college football game. So this year we went to Texas, Georgia, and Penn State, Ohio State. So, awesome. Yeah, it awesome. was fun. Two so, great games. Yeah. Well, so, Coach, thanks for joining yeah, us. Thank Appreciate you, Coach. it. Always yeah. good to catch yeah. up with you. Yeah. And uh, uh, look forward to seeing you on the courts this season. All right. Thank you. Uh, my name is Keyshawn Copeland, senior, and I play point guard. All right, Keyshawn, great to have you with us. We've got the Boyertown Bears here. And, uh, Keyshawn, tell us a little bit about uh, your team. What do you think is your, your team strength, you being one of the, the senior leaders on the team? What, what, what do you think you guys um, are going to do well this year in the uh, pack? Uh, we all can shoot. Uh, our defense got better. Okay. More man than the zone. Okay. And um, we're all, and we all trust each other. Okay. That's great. Those, those are some, some important things to have if you want to move up the ladder in this league. Um, what, uh, what do you – do you have any goals for yourself this season? Um, definitely average more points than last year. Okay. And, um, and just, just keep pushing. Okay. All right. Um, do you have a favorite uh, NBA college player? Um, Steph. Stephen Curry. Okay. That's, he's, um, my favorite. Man, that guy can, can stroke the rock. Yep. And uh, how about the favorite NBA college team? Um, and you can have one of both. Favorite college team is probably, like, Duke. Okay. Yeah, I like Duke. All right. Very good. And, yeah. All right. Great. All right. Well, thanks for joining us. Wish you good luck this season. Thank Looking you. forward to seeing you play. Uh, I'm Trey Kern. I'm a senior, small forward. All right, Trey. Um, tell us a little bit about all the things that you did in the off season to get you ready for this season. I mean, since last season ended, we we really only had like I think a month off. Okay. And then we've been having open gyms and showcases and tournaments since then. Okay. We haven't really had a break. Okay. You doing weightlifting, conditioning? Yeah, we – yeah. I mean, I lift. I go to the Y and I lift. Um, I mean, we lift as a team as well. Okay. We condition as a team too. All right, great. And um, what do you think are going to be some of your team strengths this year? Um, I mean, I think we're like – we're a really competitive group and we're pushing each other to get better. Okay. So I think that's going to motivate each other and help us play harder and play better. All right, great. Do you have a favorite uh, NBA college player? College player? Yeah. Mm. I mean, it could be mm. NBA player. Do you have anybody you really you really enjoy? Like a I, like watch, I like watching KD. Okay, all right. I like his play style, yeah. All right, and uh, how about do you have a favorite team, college or pro? 
I would say pro the, the Sixers. Sixers? Yeah. All right. Well, hopefully you can get them going here. They're off to a slow start. Yeah. But thanks for joining Thank us. You. Looking forward to seeing you play this year. Thank you. At O'Donnell, Weiss, and Matei, our team approach makes all the difference. With special needs planning, what I can do with families is help to make sure that in the event the parent no longer is there to finance the care of their child, that there's a trust available or other people available to make decisions for that child. I really like working with my clients, I like coming to work, and I really like helping them find solutions for their problems. OWM Law. Your life, your business, your law firm. Welcome to WQ Diner, located here on Route 100 and King Street in beautiful Pottstown. I'm William Quinn, owner here at WQ Diner. We serve the freshest ingredients, all homemade food with exceptional service. We're open daily, seven days a week, 5.30 a.m. to 11 p.m. Breakfast all day, full menu available all day with homemade food, the best ingredients, and exceptional service. Take a pick from our large assortment of gourmet desserts, baked fresh daily. WQ Diner, the finer diner. I'm William Quinn, owner. Look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you. Uh, my name is Scott Paladino, uh, head, head coach at Postgrove. Uh, it's my second stint there. Uh, I originally did 13 years there to start and uh, took three years uh, at Pottstown, and now I'm back here for my fourth, fourth season here at Postgrove. Coach, great to see you and uh, leading off things here with the Frontier Division, talking a little Falcon basketball. And uh, Coach, uh, just uh, talk to us a little bit about uh, what, what you think or what, what are you seeing with your uh, team coming up for this season, for the 2024-25 Pottsgrove Falcons? Um, just, you know, we're, we've been working real hard. I had a real busy off season and um, just trying to build on what we've, you know, kind of did last year. Uh, we've kind of been making a, a jump each year. You know, we went from six wins to seven wins and then last year 11 wins and uh, kind of trying to put some some wins, string some wins together here in, in the actual pack, in the pack league. You know, we've been doing well in the non-league games, but we got to kind of get that to kind of carry over into the to league play. You know, Coach, uh, we like to talk a little bit about goals, and you, you mentioned, you know, the progression from 6, 7 to 11 wins. Do you guys, your team, your staff, set some goals for, for the season? I mean, yeah. We, you, you know, like I said, we want to, you know, kind of keep that upward trajectory going and, um, you know, how hopefully it carries over into the, um, you know, league, league play, you know. The, as every coach here is going to sit there and say, you know, their, their goal is to, you know, to make the final six, and we're no different. You know, we want to kind of, you know, establish ourselves and, and kind of get back into to playoff mode. You know, we've, we've kind of met, we missed out on district playoffs last year by one by one game, and uh, you know, we want to kind of make amends to that and and just play 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 a full season. I thought I think the last couple of years we've had a really good uh, first part of the season, you know, and then some, you know, after Christmas, kind of like. We're up and down, so okay. you know we want to kind of be consistent all the way through. And I think I think we have a we have a group of kids this year that you know that are have been dedicated, you know, worked real hard in the off season. I I think they're ready to go. All right, coach. Coach, I'm asking a lot of people here. Uh, is there a, a coach or a mentor or someone you look at to at the high school, college, pro level? A coach that uh, has really been instrumental for you, or someone you really admire that uh, you know would 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 stamp your heart for, for Potts Grove basketball who's been really helpful to you. I, I, I mean, I've, I've always been a, a, a big a big fan of uh, uh, Jay Wright. Okay. And, you know, he's not coaching Great. anymore, but, you know, he had a stretch at Villanova where, you know, he he never got, like, those the key, you know, McDonald's All-Americans, but he just seemed to find a way, you know, and it's just, you know, he's, he's just been – they, they always say he does more with, le with less, and it's, it's, it's true, you yeah. know. Like, and I, I just love the way he, he had his kids play. They played hard every possession. They competed every possession. Coach, thanks for sharing. He is a great coach, and uh, looking forward to seeing All you right. and your club this season. Thank you. Kamal Curry, class of 25. I play center for Postgrove. All right, very good. Good to have you with us. Um, Tell us what what do you think are your some of your team strengths this year? What do you think your, your uh, team strengths is a lot more team chemistry as last year. We, okay, we do stuff in school, out school, during ball, all through the season. So I feel like it's a lot of team chemistry. That's very strong for us. Okay, do you have a favorite college, high school, pro player you you admire? 
Yeah, <laughs> I definitely uh, like Giannis, man. Very okay. inspirational he is. All right, awesome. How about a favorite NBA college team? Uh, the Bucks. Anything the Bucks? Giannis do, honestly. Okay, all like, right, like very good. Guy. I like and, that guy. And one more we've been asking some of the guys. Do you? We all need to get a break from basketball. Do you have a hobby or something that you enjoy to get away from basketball? It takes uh, you away from the game a little bit, kind of uh, recharge your batteries. I don't know. I just I usually just go to the track with a couple of my friends. I jump, so okay, gets me away from it. All right, awesome. Well, thanks so much. Thank Appreciate you. it. Look forward to seeing you on the court this year. Thank you. My name Julius Adon Caesar Marshall. Um, I'm a senior at Pottsgrove High School. All right, Julie, it's great to have you with us. Um, tell us a little bit about some things you did in the off season, what you do individually to get you ready for basketball season. What are, what, tell, us, tell us a little bit about stuff you do. Very dedicated. Okay. You know, wake up early in the morning. Okay. You know, work out. Work out at night, get the runs in, you know what I mean, at the right. Y. Awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. That's great. So you, were you doing, like, double workouts? Like two or three, you know. That's great. Great. Do you have a favorite NBA college player? I mean, I want to say NBA or college player, but my favorite player that I like, I try to be like, like at most I have two of them. Okay. The first one. Okay. Gabe Brenda. Okay. I like how like how he shoots the ball, just so consistent. I just okay. I model, try to model my shot after him. The second, right in the room with us, Damian Doctor. Okay. He's All just right. like athletic, gets rebounds, you know, dunk the ball. He's too good. Too little good. little shout out to some Falcons and yeah. uh, finally we all we all need a hobby to get away from basketball, decompress. What's what's something you enjoy doing to get away from basketball? I gotta say playing two K. Okay. Love playing bas all right, basketball. All right, very good. Online. Very playing good. Playing two K with the buds, you know. All right, excellent. Yeah. Well, hey, thanks for thanks for sharing and uh, good luck this season. All right, uh, my name is Damian Doctor. I'm class of 26 and I play point guard. All right, Damien, great to see you. Uh, tell us a little bit about uh, what you feel are the uh, Pottsgrove Falcons basketball strengths coming up into this season. Uh, I feel like we have a really good outside the art game and that okay. we can get our shots inside when needed. Okay. Um, you have a favorite uh, NBA college player you enjoy watching or uh, Tyrese model your Proctor. game after? Tyrese Proctor. Okay. All right. Very good. And uh, how about um, favorite team, college, pro? I like Duke. Duke, yeah. you're a Duke fan. And uh, finally, you know, we're talking about hobbies, something you enjoy doing to get away from the game of basketball. What, is there something you enjoy doing, whether it's music, whatever? Uh, I usually like to take a walk with some headphones in and just listen to some music or play Xbox. Okay, excellent, excellent. Well, hey, great to see you. Looking forward to seeing you on the court this season. Welcome to WQ Diner, located here on Route 100 and King Street in beautiful Pottstown. I'm William Quinn, owner here at WQ Diner. We serve the freshest ingredients, all homemade food with exceptional service. We're open daily, seven days a week, 5.30 a.m. to 11 p.m. Breakfast all day, full menu available all day with homemade food, the best ingredients, and exceptional service. Take a pick from our large assortment of gourmet desserts. Bake fresh daily. WQ Diner, the finer diner. I'm William Quinn, owner. Look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you. Yakalak Construction, serving the Tri-County area since 1946. Family owned, free estimates, all types of concrete work, sidewalks, foundations, steps, curbs, and more. Professional service and quality. Give them a call, 610-323-8134. All right, hi everybody, I am uh, Eric Burnett and I'm entering my 11th season here with the Phoenixville Phantoms. Uh, it's my 14th year coaching overall and uh, looking, looking forward to getting the season started. Well, Coach, first of all, let me welcome you and uh, congratulations on that, that PAC championship last year. That was a really, really exciting game and I, I was just really still impressed with how your players took advantage of the opportunity. You know, we're all presented with opportunities each night in basketball. Right. And that group certainly did. What, uh, what's your early season assessment here of uh, this group, the, this group of the 2024-2025 Phantoms? Yeah, I mean, and the uh, one thing that I keep preaching is that every team is different when you do this long enough. Right. You, you can't compare one team to the next. Sure. Um, 
last year's team was certainly special, and, and you could feel that, and they came together, and, and they exemplified that on the court. But this year's team is different, and our mentality is to not really defend our a championship. We, we want to continue hunting and, and hunt to create our own legacy, and that's what we keep talking about. Um, it's a new opportunity for, for new guys to step into new roles. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what, what, uh, who's ready to step up. All right. Coach, how about, uh, how about what's the, the, the non-league schedule look like? And uh, talk a little bit if you want. If you, some people do, some people don't. Maybe some team goals you have this season. Uh, non-league schedule is going to shape up to be pretty tough. We have um, Rustin, who's always, who's always a competitive matchup for us, Great Valley. Uh, we challenge ourselves with uh, the state state college holiday tournament, which uh, always presents a, a good challenge up there. Um, we don't know the draw on that yet, but um, you know we'll see as we get a little closer. Uh, Brady O'Donnell, class of 2025, and uh, I'm a guard. Brady, great to see you. Uh, last time I saw you, you were just uh, doing some magic there. The last couple seconds of that championship game, it was very very exciting and uh, great to have you back. Um, what have you What have you done in the off season since that uh, special time and, yeah, and getting um, you ready for this season? Lots of practices with the team, uh, lots of weightlifting, and lots of getting better in the gym. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, do you have a favorite uh, NBA college player? Uh, college player, um, probably Max Lebisky. Yeah. Okay. NBA. LeBron. Yeah. All Definitely right. LeBron. And how about a favorite uh, college or NBA team? Um, Kentucky's my favorite college team, and I love the Sixers, yeah. All right, Sixers fan, I love them too. So, hey, great to see you. Thanks for joining Thank us. Thank you for having and, me. Uh, looking forward to seeing you during the season. Uh, my name is Joe Shaleo, class of 2025, and I play uh, guard. All right, very good. Um, what, uh, talking about the Phantoms this year, 2024, 25, what do, you, what do you think are some of your team strengths this year going into the season? I feel like some of our team strengths are definitely like our defense has really like been one of our key strengths, especially last year and this year. But okay. like especially our transition this year is like really well. All right. We All right. And, uh, you know, coming off that championship, that had to be an exciting time. What are what are some things you did personally in the off season to get ready for this year? Um, just definitely like going to the Y, trying to get as much shots up I can in the summer and like going on like runs with my team. Like even though we didn't like it, we had to like persevere and go through it. All right. Excellent. And uh, finally, how about the, what do you do? Will you, you do anything to get away from the game? You have a hobby or a certain thing you enjoy to kind of decompress from basketball? Yeah, um, I play lacrosse. So you okay. just like uh, get on the wall ball and just like just play lacrosse by myself. All right. Excellent. All right. Well, thanks for yeah. sharing and uh, good luck this me. season. Oh, Deacon Barada, class, I'm a senior and I play forward. All right, Deacon, great to see you. Great to see you and uh, welcome. Um, you know, again, I tell all those guys it was just really exciting season for you last year. Um, what do you see going into this year as a veteran who's been through it? What, what's some, what are some strengths of this year's uh, Phantom team, in your opinion? I think definitely like the work that we've put in. Um, definitely getting a lot of guys in the gym. And I think our defense is really strong. Got a lot of athletic guys that okay. can like, guard full court. All right. Um, do you have a uh, favorite college or pro player you admire? Enjoy favorite watching? college player? Um, I like Khan Kanubo on Duke. Okay. Um, NBA, just always just LeBron James. Okay. Player. All right. Awesome. And how about how about favorite favorite college or pro team? Um, definitely the Sixers. Sixers. Yeah. All right. And and one more. What about uh, what about a hobby? Something you do to get away from basketball? Is there a certain activity or thing you enjoy doing to? Take a break from the hardwood. I think a little bit of golf, maybe, with my dad. Okay. All right. Like Excellent. That. Well, thanks for joining us. Look forward to seeing you play this year. At O'Donnell, Weiss, and Matei, our team approach makes all the difference. OWM can assist in any aspect of a real estate transaction. We're here to protect your interests, representing builders and developers from a wide array of projects. We provide agreements to sale, negotiate, draft, and then provide the agreement. From multifamily to commercial shopping centers to large housing developments. OWM Law. Your life, your business, your law firm. Hi, Jeff Bush here, host of Financially Speaking here on PCTV for the past 11 years. I have some exciting news. We are now Wellspring Financial, home of the Wellspring formula. We are here to serve all your financial needs. 
Uh, how you doing? I'm John Bertain from Upper Perky Oman High School. Uh, his first year as head coach of the boys program. I've uh, been involved in coaching basketball for 20 years, uh, mostly on the girls' side. I was the uh, girls' head coach back in the early 2000s at Upper Perk, uh, and then went, went off and uh, did a little coaching at, at Delaware Valley College with the women's program there. But happy to be a part of the, the guys' program and start to get things uh, turned around there. Well, welcome, John. It's great to see you. And, uh, you know, first year, what are, what are the unique question there is what are some of the unique things or what are some things you really feel you need to make some strides on here in year one with the program? Well, we are just trying to put processes in, pra in place to uh, build a, a winning culture. Um, you know, the guys have struggled over the past several years. Those guys are gone. Uh, so the guys that we have left, um, you know, they're not part of that necessarily. So we're, we've been talking to them about, you know, doing things the right way, acting the right way in and out of, out of school, on the court, and then, uh, you know, just coming in and working hard each and every day. So it's, we're looking for little victories this year. Sure. Uh, going into trying to build some bigger stuff. Yeah. I, I love those things because I feel like they're, they're so important to a winning culture. Um, what, I know it's, it's real, real early for you, but what, what are some things you think this group of guys can, can do well for you and the staff? Uh, they, they play extremely hard. Uh, I think we haven't been a group, you know, watching the program for the last uh, five years under a couple other coaches. Um, they didn't really try to get after it and then pick up the tempo defensively. Yeah. I think the group that we have can do that. Um, I think we have to do that to be able to score a little bit. Okay. Um, I, I feel like we're going to be a little bit offensively challenged. And if we don't create any easy opportunities for ourselves, then we are going to struggle. Um, but we do have some... Not a lot, but we do have a, a handful of very good athletes, and I think we can get after it defensively and, and create some opportunities for ourselves. Great. Now let's let's talk a little bit about you, coach. Is there someone, or you can name multiple people, coaches who've maybe been impactful to you, whether they're high school coaches, college coaches, or pro coaches, uh, that uh, you'd like to share with us? Um, that's actually funny you asked that question. So I was just a couple weeks ago out at uh, Millersville University to watch one of their practices. And their, their head coach, uh, Casey Stitzel, yep. um, his dad was my high school coach, okay. Glenn Stitzel. Yep. Um, I'm sure you probably know Glenn or know of Glenn. No, no and, both uh, of them. When I was in high school <laughs> playing, uh, Casey was a four- or five-year-old running around our gym. Right. And then uh, him and I were together again at, at Del Val when he got the Del Val men's job when I was there with the right. women. So, um, you know, Coach Ditzel has been a mentor of mine forever, um, and I've constantly have gone back to him and, you know, asked for advice and or just to talk basketball. And you spend 20 minutes with him, and, and you're ready to go. You're yeah. ready to go. Uh, you want to start the season right then and there. So, so uh, he's a, a big mentor of mine. Yeah, he's, he's a good man. I've had an opportunity to see him a few times on the golf course this summer. So, Coach, Great seeing you, and I wish you good luck, Thank and uh, looking forward to seeing you and your club play in the future. All right. uh, my name is Vin Galassi. I'm a senior, and I'm a guard. All right, very good. Great to have you with us. Yeah. You got you got new coach this year. What, uh, what are some of the exciting new things that you're seeing at Upper Perk Basketball, you know, getting you ready for the season? Um, I'm just excited, like a, a new fresh start, just, okay. to, like, just to try to win and just turn things around compared to the last few years. Yeah. Uh, and what uh, give us a little idea, some stuff maybe you did individually in the off season to, to get you ready. Yeah, um, AAU was a big thing. Okay. AAU circuits, traveling, um, just in the gym every day, lifting, and then just building relationships with the coach, the players, and all of that. Awesome, yeah. awesome. Do you have a favorite NBA team, NBA uh, college team? Yeah, favorite team is probably the Sixers. Sixers, yeah. all right. And how about how about a favorite player? Favorite player probably Bones Island. Okay, yeah. all right. And finally, I'm asking some guys, do you have a hobby or something that you enjoy to get away from basketball? Yeah, uh, probably just playing a game, 2K, Call of Duty. Just, okay. Just things like that. All right, yeah. gamer. Yeah. All right, yeah. very good. Thank well, thanks for joining us. Thank all you. right, good luck this season. Thank you. My name is Darius Reed, class of 2027. I'm shooting guard. All right, Darius, great to have you with us here on the PCTV Network. And uh, just, you know, talk a little bit about uh, – What's, uh, what's been different for Upper Perk basketball this, this year as compared to uh, in, in the past? What are, you, what are you guys doing that's good stuff this year? Uh, I said like our work ethic. Last year, we didn't get pushed as much. So we were pretty like, 
I'd say low on like executing the game. So okay. I say we have a lot of opportunity this game or this year. So we'll see how it goes. Okay. And what what, what do you what do you view as some some team strengths this year? What what, what do you see from the, so far? I mean, I know it's very early, but uh, what do you what do you think your team might be strong at this year? Um. Definitely our inside game. Okay. Our big man is there. All and right. We're pretty lethal from the shooting range, so we have a lot of uh, scores on here. So. All right. Do you? Uh, what do you do to get away from basketball? You have a favorite hobby or something you do to just get away from basketball, and not think about it for a little bit. I run track, so. Okay. Getting in shape's real important uh, for basketball. Running down the court. Yep. Great crossover there with track and basketball. Absolutely. How about a favorite favorite <laughs> basketball player? I say John Morant. Okay. John Morant. All right. Haven't heard his name so yeah. far today. He's a, he's a great one. And uh, how about the favorite team? Sixers. 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 Yeah. All right. Missed the game today. Go Sixers. <laughs> All right, man. Good to talk with you. For more than 50 years, Pottstown Oral and Maxillofacial Surgery has served its community with expert dental care, offering patients dental implants and a full menu of procedures for many types of dental problems, including bone grafting, wisdom teeth, impacted canines, facial trauma, jaw surgery, oral pathology, TMJ disorders, and sleep apnea. Get the smile you've always wanted. Contact Pottstown Oral and Maxillofacial Surgery today. At Superior Credit Union, we believe in growing stronger together. So we provide products and services to fit your financial needs and accommodate your busy lifestyle. With convenient services like home banking, e-deposits, account alerts, and a free coin counter for members, come see why Superior Credit Union is growing. Visit any one of our three locations in Collegeville, Royers Ford, and our brand new location in Pottstown. Superior Credit Union. Uh, yes, I'm Ken Ivory. I am uh, entering my fourth year as a head basketball coach at Pottstown High School. Coach, how many years you been coaching now? For? Uh, I say this is about my 16th year. Okay. Uh, I did about nine at Potts Grove. Uh, then I did an interim year at Pottstown in 2017. Awesome. Well, it's great to see you, Coach, and uh, always great to talk to you, Hoops. And uh, let's let's talk about your team this year. What uh, what do you see? What uh, what what's been going well for the Trojans? Um, I think our kids have been working really hard okay. in the offseason. Uh, their conditioning, their strength, uh, working on individual games, uh, trying to build a, just a different culture you know, of unity and togetherness in our program. Um, you know, we lost a lot, but I'm mm -hmm. looking, we're looking at multiple guys to be able to fill those roles, yeah. and we're very excited. Um, our kids are chomping at the bit. They can't, can't, ugh, they can't wait to get started. Excuse yeah. Me. So I'm going to put you on the spot a little bit with the culture thing because I think that's so important for any program. What, what are some things that you're doing or they're doing that you think is you know, headed in the right direction? Uh, well, a couple of my guys, some of my guys who are here now, uh, they're rare. They're really high academic kids. Um, awesome. Been challenging them to kind of get more involved with the school and, and things like that. National That's great. Society stuff like that. Um, and the culture is just more than basketball. That's what we're trying to build here at Pottstown, and, and uh, you know, also at the same time, elevate our game as well and not be satisfied. But really, really focusing on being good character kids in the community, in the school, and just building, you know, uh, building the groundwork for the, for the future. Yeah. Now, Coach, let's let's talk about you individually a little bit. Um, you've been coaching a long time. Is there any coaches you'd like to mention that, that were very impactful to you? It could be high school coach. It could be a middle school coach. Uh, it could be college. Maybe you watch a certain pro coach you really enjoy. You can name several coaches. Okay. Because uh, I think, uh, you know, we all, we all learn from so many different people, and it's kind of uh, neat to see uh, who's been impactful to, to all our different coaches around the league. Uh, one of my favorite guys to watch, I might be dating myself, but I like to watch John Thompson from Georgetown. Yes. He was yes. one of my favorites. Uh, I love Georgetown. Uh, old Big East basketball, Jim Beheim. Yep. Uh, and locally, um, I can say I played under Rick Pennypacker. He was a major influence on me. Um, I coached under Scott Paladino, who I, you know, I coach against twice a year now. Uh, <laughs> I learned a lot from him on, on, on building a program and, and trying to, you know, maintain, you know, maintain being relevant within uh, within the game. That's so, great. That's great. There, there's uh, f four good ones there you mentioned. <laughs> and, and finally, Coach, uh, we all need to get away, escape from basketball. 
Are there some things you do, enjoy, hobbies, things you, you like to do? Just just one or two things maybe you enjoy to just get away from basketball because it mm. consumes all of us and we, we well, need a break. For me, it's kind of to get away. It used to be watching my daughter dance. Okay. But she no longer dances. She's a volleyball <laughs> player now. Okay. And then now I have an older My oldest daughter is a high school basketball player now. So okay. Really, my life kind of revolves around sports so, right now. But anything I'm doing with my family is good. Getting on the grill, that's something I like to do. So. That's great. That's great to hear, Coach. Coach, great to see you. Yes, Thanks sir. so much. Likewise, Looking Coach. forward to seeing you during the season. It. Thank you. All right, man. I'm Elias, uh, 2026, 20, uh, forward. All right, very good. So great to see you. Uh, let's talk a little bit about your team, Pottstown Trojans this year. Mm -hmm. What do you What do you view as your, your team's strengths this year? What do you What do you think you guys are going to be uh, good at? Finishing around the rim. Okay. Okay. Inside. All right, very good. Um, do you have a favorite NBA team, college team? Any uh, favorite? Sixers and Duke. Sixers and Duke, okay. We've heard a lot of Sixers and Duke today. Mm -hmm. How about uh, favorite favorite player? Uh, Cooper Flagg uh, and Tyrese Maxey. Okay, awesome, awesome. Maxey is just, uh, he amazes me with his continual growth and work ethic. Mm -hmm. Love that guy. That's a, that's a great, uh, great role model to uh, model after. And, and finally, do you have like a, a hobby or something you enjoy doing to get away from basketball? Something you enjoy doing uh, to give you a break? Like playing on the game. Okay. You're a gamer? Yeah. All right. Very good. I play Call of Duty. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. I mix awesome. of games. Okay. Good. Well, hey, it was nice to visit with you. Nice to meet Thanks you. so much. And I look forward to seeing you on the court this year. I'm Cameron Robinson, class of 2026, and I'm a guard. All right, Mr. Robinson, uh, great to have you with us. Um, tell us about the, some of the things you've done in the off season to get you ready for this year. Um, you know, I've just been working on my jumper a okay. lot lately. Um, it's just getting in the gym, you know, being able to sacrifice time with my friends and all that to get in the gym and really work on my game. Now, speaking of your jumper, do you, are you one of those guys that has a certain amount of shots you're trying to put up every day or you're trying to make so many shots? Or uh, uh, you have you have any any little goals you set for yourself on your workouts or anything like that? Not really. I just go in there and really work on what I need to work on. Okay. All right. Very good. Um, how about a uh, favorite uh, NBA college team you have? Uh, the Warriors. Warriors, okay, all right. Those guys can go. And uh, favorite player? Steph Curry. Steph Curry, obviously tied in there very well. And and finally, do you have like a, a hobby, something you enjoy to, to get a, to get away from the gym? You know, uh, something just you like, enjoy doing. Just like being with my family. Okay, yeah, being with your family. Time. Great. Well, hey, thanks for joining us. Thank Wish you. Wish you good luck and uh, look forward to seeing you this season. Thank you. My name is Sincere Whitehurst, class of 2026, and I'm play guard. Okay. Great to have you with us. Um, being back from last year, what do you what do you view as uh, some strengths of the uh, Trojan basketball unit this year? Our offense is really good. We try to shoot the ball as much as we can. Okay. Yeah. Guys, get out and push it up the floor a little bit. Yeah, transitions are like our transitions really well. Uh, we try to shoot the ball as much as we can. We try to get to the bucket whenever we can. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. Um, you have a. Uh, hobby or something you enjoy to, to get away from basketball? I just like spending time with my friends and family. Okay, friends and family. And how about a favorite uh, NBA NBA or college player? Uh, Steph Curry. Steph Curry. And how about a favorite team? Golden State Warriors. You're another Warriors guy. Yeah. All right, very good. Well, you know, the Trojans talking about pushing it, and getting up and down the floor just yeah. like the Warriors. That's, that's good ones to model after. So, yeah. hey, great chatting with you, and I uh, wish you good luck. Yeah. See you during the season. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Welcome to WQ Diner, located here on Route 100 and King Street in beautiful Pottstown. I'm William Quinn, owner here at WQ Diner. We serve the freshest ingredients, all homemade food with exceptional service. We're open daily, seven days a week, 5.30 a.m. to 11 p.m. Breakfast all day, full menu available all day with homemade food, the best ingredients, and exceptional service. Take a pick from our large assortment of gourmet desserts bake fresh daily. WQ Diner, the finer diner. I'm William Quinn, owner. Look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you. 
At O'Donnell, Weiss and Matei, our team approach makes all the difference. Anyone entering a nursing home really should consult with an elder law attorney to see whether Medicaid is the appropriate option for them. But it's really important to make sure that you have someone that's familiar with those rules, that works with those rules on a daily basis that can guide you through the process. I specialize in elder law because I enjoy the clients that I work with, and I really like helping them find solutions for their problems. OWM Law. Your life, your business, your law firm. Hello, my name is Matt Rafferty, uh, first year head coach here at Upper Marion. Uh, I've been coaching for about 13 years. All right, Coach, great. Glad to have you with us. And, uh, Coach, I, I've always enjoyed especially talking to the first-year coaches. Mm -hmm. You know, it takes me back to my first-year coaching and think about, you know, I know you spent some time with Coach Q. Mm -hmm. what, what, what are some things you're looking at? Are you looking at to keep things the same, a lot of changes, some little changes? What, what, what's, um, what's going to be your, your stamp on Upper Marion basketball? Um, we're just trying to build a culture, uh, working hard every day of practice, doing the little things of practice and trying to win every day. Okay. Um, um, what's your early assessment of your team? Do you think you have some strengths? What do you think? Uh, um, we're going to be young. Okay. Um, returning varsity experience, I think we have maybe one or two guys. So we're going to be young. Um, we're going to take lumps, but we're going to work hard every day of practice and Hopefully those, we win each day of practice. It's going to turn into wins during the season. Okay, excellent, excellent. Now, Coach, let's, let's talk about you a little bit. Is there, uh, has there been some, some people, uh, coaching mentors or people that you feel have been a, a big part of you as your growth as a coach? And I would say it could be a high school coach, could be a college coach, could be a pro coach you enjoy watching. There, um, there, and you can name multiple people, it's, you know, some, some guys that you enjoy that, uh, that you've, you've learned some things from. I, not to sound corny here, but like a lot of any coach that basically has ever coached me, I've tried to take a little something from each of them. Right, absolutely. Um, so it's nice, you know, our freshman coach actually coached me when I was at high school at Upper Marion. So it's it's cool that he's still hanging around. He still wants to be part of the program. Cool. Um, so it's it's very easy to just kind of lean on him if I have any questions or anything. So. All right. How about any any college or pro coaches you admire or you've always enjoyed watching? How much, how much time do we have? <laughs> uh, college, I mean, you know, Coach K was up there. Izzo. Right. Um, being a homer here in Philly, when Martelli was here, he was it was awesome to go yeah. watch him at practice. Jay Wright, so yeah. the list goes on and on. Yeah, Coach, I I, I like your four selections because those four have always been uh, been great for me too mm -hmm. as well. Um, so let's uh, one more thing, Coach. What uh, you know, talking about you a little bit. What do you do to get away from basketball? You have a hobby or a thing you enjoy um, doing. It's just nice to you know get away from basketball. It'll be a little tough in the winter, but. God. I'm Chase O'Donnell, class of 2025. All right, Chase, what position do you play? Anywhere. Anywhere. See, that, that's versatility. I like it because they always like a guy who's willing to play anywhere. And I did the same thing when I was in high school and went on to college. I was like, hey, I'll play anywhere because I want to get in the game. It's yeah. no fun sitting on the bench. So um, tell us a little bit about the team. What do you think some of the strengths of the team will be this year? Uh, I think we're a very athletic team. Okay. And we're like very quick and can up can get up and down the court. Okay. And um, how about you? Do you have a favorite favorite player? Uh, Shea. Okay. All right. And how about a uh, favorite uh, NBA or college team or one from each if uh, you want? I like Notre Dame. Notre Dame. Yeah. Notre Dame fan. All right. Like Excellent. Games and Sixers. 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 Great to hear. And, and finally. Um, some uh, hobby, something you enjoy doing to, to get away from the game of basketball? Uh, well, I play soccer and lacrosse as well. Okay. So, and I golf a little bit. So. All right. So you're a busy guy, three-sport yeah. athlete. Great to hear. Great to see. And uh, wish you good luck. And Thank you. thanks for joining us. No Look problem. forward to seeing you play this year. Thank you. My name is Danny Hill. I'm class of 2025. I play point guard. All right, Danny. Great to have you with us. In this. Um, you know, since you're a class of 2025, you're a senior, what do you, do you guys, uh, have you guys talked a little bit as a team? Do you have some goals for this uh, year? I know it's going to be new with a new coach and everything, but. Uh, yeah, as a team, we're looking to make it difficult to beat us. We're looking to be uh, good on the defensive side of the floor, you know, be able to work up and back, up and down the court at all times. Awesome. I mean, defense gives you a chance every night. If you play good defense, you certainly got a chance. Um, how about some team strengths? You're, you think, what do you think is going to be uh, the strength of the team? Definitely uh, our speed, our quickness. Okay. Getting up and down the floor for All sure. Right. All right. You have a uh, favorite favorite player? 
Uh, yeah, I'm a big fan of Pat Beth. Okay. Yeah. All right. And uh, how about uh, college pro uh, team? Uh, I love watching some good Bama basketball. I'm okay. A, I'm a Sixers fan too. Okay. Alabama basketball, yeah, huh? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Awesome. That's that's one that we haven't heard. So, yeah. hey, well, thanks for Watch joining out. us, and uh, wish you good luck. Looking forward to seeing you play. Appreciate this year. it. My name is David Peck, and I'm a senior guard. All right, David, your senior, another another leader for the uh, Upper Marion basketball team. Uh, what uh, what do you what do you feel are some some keys or strengths for your team this season? I feel it's just gonna be defense, just like staying like focused and locked in every single possession. Okay, all right. Um, do you uh, do you feel like you guys have some some strengths? You know that. Yeah, I just say it would be pushing the ball up the floor, like uh, turning defense into offense, really. Okay. All right. Um, how about a favorite uh, favorite player? Uh, I'd probably say uh, Bronny James. Okay. All right. And um, favorite team? Uh, probably the Sixers. Sixers. Yep. All right. And, and finally, one more. Uh, you have a ho hobby or something you enjoy doing to get away from basketball? Uh, I play golf and baseball. Okay, golf and baseball. Yep. So you're a busy guy as well. All right, man. Well, thanks for joining thanks, us. Thank you. Good luck. Look forward to seeing you thank play you. this year. For more than 50 years, Pottstown Oral and Maxillofacial Surgery has served its community with expert dental care, offering patients dental implants and a full menu of procedures for many types of dental problems, including bone grafting, wisdom teeth, impacted canines, facial trauma, jaw surgery, oral pathology, TMJ disorders, and sleep apnea. Get the smile you've always wanted. Contact Pottstown Oral and Maxillofacial Surgery today. At Superior Credit Union, we believe in growing stronger together. So we provide products and services to fit your financial needs and accommodate your busy lifestyle. With convenient services like home banking, e-deposits, account alerts, and a free coin counter for members, come see why Superior Credit Union is growing. Visit any one of our three locations in Collegeville, Royers Ford, and our brand new location in Pottstown. Superior Credit Union. Coach Candelo, Ben Candelo, um, head coach Owen J. Roberts, um, fourth year as the head coach, um, seventh year coaching here in seventh overall. All right, Coach, welcome. And Coach, first of all, let me start welcoming you to the Frontier Division this year. And then two, I would just appreciate you setting this up, our first ever kind of uh, media day here for boys basketball. And uh, it's really going well and happy to have you. Uh, let's let's. Let's get away from that. Let's start talking about your Wildcat team this year. Uh, what's uh, what's it look like? What do you what are your preseason prospectus on your Wildcats this season? Oh, and first of all, thank you guys for being here today. It's been a really special day. Um, really excited about this year um, and the group we have. Really looking to build off last year. One of our it's one of our best years and. You know, in the last seven seasons, we took right. a big, big step. You know, Luke Fryer had a great year, um, being the third guy, third all-time leading scorer, six ever to score a thousand. But with this group here, this group's really, really hungry because we were, you know, two wins last year of some of those games where we had fourth quarter leads that we kind of just let get away. Okay. We win two of those games. We're in the right. playoffs, and with a lot of these guys back this year, because we only had four seniors that we lost last year. These guys are really hungry to come back and, you know, finish some of those really close games. That's kind of been the emphasis all off season yeah. is like getting through these really close games, getting through that because, you know, to me and you know, we've talked about it too, like we know we can be right there and we know we're there. We just gotta go out, take care of business and it started in the off season and these guys all here today have been in it every step of the way. Good. That's great to hear. Now, uh, some coaches like to share, and if you don't want to, it's fine. But goals, some, some things for your team, you yeah, guys are looking goal, at the uh, staff. D definitely goals, like you know, to be right there, to be one of the, the top twenty-four in District One and make the district playoffs. You know, it's been a goal for us all off season, and I think right. it's one that's right in front of us. Um, and then, like you know, get the double-digit wins, which would be the second time only, I think, in like ten years or something. So, okay. you know, we're, those are right there for us, and we're really, really excited. And like. I said I just can't say enough good things about the kids. I'm really lucky you have so many great kids out there. Yeah, that's it's, awesome. It's a blast being here, man. It's a blast to be a part of this. Yeah, well, good. You're you're a high energy guy. So, coach, what do you what do you do to get away from basketball? What are what is what are, do you have a hobby or things you enjoy doing that get you away from the 
the, the, the stress of the hardwood. Yeah, me and my girlfriend love to cook. I love cooking. Okay. I, 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 could, I love cooking. I All actually right. cooked a, a, a little baked mac and cheese dish the other day. I tried okay. some different cheeses. Is, it, is that your specialty? What, what's, what's your best dish? I'm an Italian, so anything pasta related is, is always the top of the list. So <laughs> throw a little ricotta cheese in there, you know what I mean? Some mozzarella, some breadcrumbs. You got a pretty good meal. You're good to go. Yeah. All right, Coach. Hey, thanks so much for joining us. Enjoyed it, and uh, look forward to seeing you and your team on the court this year. Thank you, Dave. Thank you, Gus. Thank you, everyone, for being All here. All right. Uh, my name is Elijah Klein. I play wing, class of 2025. All right, Elijah, re returning senior. And um, what, a, what, in your opinion, what do you think are some strengths of your, uh, your Wildcat group this year? Um, I feel like we're definitely on the smaller side, so we're going to be able to get up and down the court pretty quickly, transition offense. Okay. Yeah. All right. Floor. Um, you have a uh, favorite uh, favorite player? Uh, yeah, probably Anthony Edwards. Okay. All right. His name's been mentioned a few times today by guys. Uh, how about a favorite pro college team? Uh, college, I'd say probably Duke. Okay. All right. And um, how about something that you do to get away from basketball? Uh, I play either 2K or Call of Duty. All right. Another gamer. Mm -hmm. So. All right, man. Good. Well, thanks for joining us. Thank you. Wish you good luck this season. I'm Ryan Holmberg. I'm a senior, and I'm a combo guard. All right, Ryan. Combo guard, what are some things you've done to get you ready for this season? You know, what, what are some things you've done since the end of last season to get you ready for uh, the 24-25 campaign? Uh, I've been working out in the gym, like working on my strength as well as my game, like my shot and my ball handling. Okay. All right. Um, any uh, special things that you think uh, the team, your team displays this year, you think is going to be some team strengths this year? Yeah, I think we're going to push the ball well and transition. We're small, so we're going to box out. It's going to be our main focus, get rebounds, and then just push the ball, run oh. teams out the gym. Okay. So you, have a, you have a favorite, favorite player? Uh, yeah, I like Steph Curry. It's okay. always been my favorite player. All right. Well, that's right up Steph Curry's you know, push, transition, way to go. Uh, how about favorite favorite team, college or pro or both? Uh, I like the Sixers, yeah. Sixers? Yeah. All right. Very good. And uh, finally, how about a, a hobby, something you enjoy that gets you away from basketball? Something uh, you do to just chill out or get away from the game? Yeah, I like to play chess a lot in my free time. Actually. Chess? All right. Excellent. Love yeah. it. Good stuff, man. Thank you. Well, hey, nice talking with you, and uh, good luck this season. Look forward to seeing you play. Thank you. I'm Danny Walker. I play point guard. I'm a 2026. All right, Danny, welcome. Um, in your opinion, what are some uh, strengths of the Wildcat basketball team this year? This year, I think we're a smaller and quicker team than past year, so we'll be able to get quick steals and push in transition a lot. Okay. Um, you have a hobby or something you enjoy to, to get away from basketball? Something you do like to do? I like to – I play a lot of lacrosse. Okay. Outside of basketball. The lacrosse so. player too? Yeah. All right. Well, that's a great crossover there with yeah. speed, and you got to definitely be in shape for that sport as yeah. well. So that's a great combination for you. How about a favorite favorite player? I'm going to have to say Tyrese Maxey. Maxey, yeah. great, great choice. Great mm -hmm. choice. Love that kid. And uh, how about uh, favorite college pro team? I'm going to have to say the Sixers. Sixers. Yeah, All right. Great. Sixers, great. Well, hey, great talking with you. Thanks for joining us Thank and you. looking forward to seeing you play this year. Thank you. All right. Hi, I'm Joe, and this is Chris, and many of you know us. And we'd like to welcome you to our new showroom here at 618 North Reading Avenue in Boyertown, where we offer color faucets, mowing faucets as well, vanities, tubs, and many accessories. Here we have an operating high efficiency Energy Star rated American Standard Furnace combined with a variable speed AC condenser. Uh, let us install one today to start saving you money throughout the heating and cooling season. Here at Patriot, we now offer kitchen and bath designs. So come visit us today at 618 North Reading Avenue or visit our website at www patriotnt.com. Hi, Jeff Bush here, host of Financially Speaking here on PCTV for the past 11 years. I have some exciting news. We are now Wellspring Financial, home of the Wellspring formula. We are here to serve all your financial needs.
All right, this concludes our uh, basketball preview show media day here. A special thanks to uh, Coach Condello and all the Wildcats up here in Bucktown for hosting us here the first time. And uh, for myself, Dave Caldwell, and Gus Tellis behind the camera, thanks for joining us and hope to see everyone on the courts this year, 24-25 season, Pioneer Athletic Conference basketball. Thanks and good night. Pottstown continues with their man-to-man. -man. Quick hands by Sadiq. Oh! What a block! Julius Marshall! That got the place rocking. <laughs> wow, Sadiq wow. winding up. And, and Julius said, not now. <laughs> that is a PCTV instant classic right there. Wow. <laughs> You're not dunking on me. I'm not being posterized. I'm Martha, and this is my brother, Johnny. Our parents, Theo and Maria, started this business here at Quakertown Farmer's Market 34 years ago. When they immigrated from Greece in 1979, they opened their first location on Broad Street in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. We've also been doing Music Fest in Celtic over the years. Over the years, we've developed a great customer following and are known for having the best gyros. We use the freshest ingredients and make our own tzatziki sauce daily. Pair a gyro sandwich with fresh cut fries. Let's make them break and add feta cheese. Finish it off with a piece of baklava. Hi folks, how are you today? Good, how are you? I'm doing well, how can I help you today? Are you a gyro with no onions? Of course. Anything to drink for today? Uh, I'll have a burger. Yes sir. We only have one size, is that okay? Yes. Great. Any fries or pierogies for today? Uh, fries. Yes sir. I'm Theo and I help out my aunt and uncle at Theo's Gyros. My grandfather and my grandmother started this restaurant 30 plus years ago, and we're still going strong. Thank you for coming in. I'd like to say, in my best Brooklyn accent, Theo's is the best. We've been coming here for 20 plus years, 35 miles from Clinton, New Jersey. We've been to Athens, my wife and I, and we asked for a gyro, and we concluded that Theo's was better and we've told them, theirs is the best. The service here is wonderful. Theo, little Theo, who's about six foot, Maria, Joy, Martha, and Don. You couldn't ask for better people. You leave here with a smile. If you want the best sorrows, come visit us in the Quarter Town Farmer's Market. Thank you so much, guys. Kaliorexi.